Hello everyone, it's Michelle and I am hopping along with my friends for Mix It Up Monday. And it's where we add different things to our layouts. It can be stenciling or inking or stitching or whatever. And we are also using a sketch that was created by Brandy Jo, who was in the Mix It Up Monday hop. And I am a huge fan of hexagons, so I am excited to use this sketch. Um, I have a photo that this is a deer in my mom's yard, and you can see the yellow of the pecan tree, brown leaves on the ground. And I'm going to be using a collection from uh, Keep It Simple called Nuts About Fall. Comes in six by nine and twelve by twelve. Let me pull the twelve by twelve out. I can find it. Here it is. Here's the cover sheet. Okay, so I think this photo goes well with this. And so I thought that I would like to make my own pattern paper. Now, let me back up. Not my own pattern paper but my own wood grain. So I have a sheet of white daisy. I've cut it down to 11 by 11, and I'm thinking I want to mat it in this plaid. Okay, so I did some experimenting on what color I would like to make my wood grain. So this is one I'd made before. I'm not sure what color cardstock this is. This is not what I want to use. I even went through my wood grain collection to see what I might like to kind of make it look like. So definitely, definitely a lighter wood grain, but this is very, very thin. I think I got it at Michael's for a project, not a scrapbooking project. And I want it thicker. So here I experimented with vintage photo, walnut stain, desert sand from Close My Heart. These are Tim Holtz. This one, it dried actually looking a little bit better. Sorry, I don't have all my lights on, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So then I turned it over, saddle, brown bag, cocoa, chocolate, Heather, also mink is a good one. So then, let's see, I took mink, no, this is white. I took white, and this has heather and cocoa. And then this is mink, this is, and their, side, their paper comes in two colors, this is the lighter. And this is the cocoa on that, I kinda like that. But then, I wasn't really sure if I wanted the um, wood grain to be this dark. So I think I'm gonna use the white. And let me just show you real quickly how easy this is. Okay, so I've always thought I needed to get a 12 by 12 inch scoring board. Cause I only have a smaller one, like I don't know what it is. Seven by 10 or something, but you know, you can use a regular cutting board like this. I think it comes with the black attachment that scores, or you can use um, like your bone folder to score. But I do have this new paper trimmer from Stampin' Up, and it has a score here. And so all you do, and I'm gonna have kind of a heavy hand. I'm just gonna randomly score it. Now make sure you don't cut it, just up and down, right? And make sure it's not all exact. Mine seem to be kind of all exact right now, but there we go. I just push and score, push and score, push and score. 
Okay, I'm a little out of breath because um, I just went for a walk and it's hot outside. I'm so excited about the cooler temperatures. I, I froze in church this morning. I had the air conditioning on too cold, but now I'm burning up. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over where the ridges are up. I cannot find my crop mat. I'm in the middle of kind of rearranging my scrapbook room. So we're just gonna do it with this. And did I decide on mink or chocolate? Let me think again. Which one matches these papers better? I think I'll go with the chocolate because of all these chocolate colors here. Okay, chocolate. And my chocolate probably could use some ink, so that's not a bad thing because then it's not going to put out so much. Now, we're doing a remodel and there's a bunch of wood on my um, front porch, and so I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to see what I can do with getting a little bit of that wood grain. So this is really easy. Let me show you. This is the old style stamp pad. I'm just going to go down. Whoop. And really, you can't mess it up. Typically, I would go all the way down, but since I'm on this um, piece of scrap of wood. See, now you're kind of seeing that. I didn't say it was perfect. Actually, I think that might be on the wood. Alright. So, I didn't even need my cup. And then you can go back in and add more. Let me show you what it looks like. I think it's gonna look cool. I do have more brown up here than down here, so I may go over it a little bit more. Hold on. Okay, and then be sure and close that up. Okay, so like this, and I printed the photo at five inches by like three and three quarters. It's kind of in the the sketch shows it horizontal, but I really felt like this photo looked, it's the photo I wanted to scrap it. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to take my hexagon punch or punches. I'm not sure if I'm using both, but cause this actually looks like they are matted. I also have a hexagon some hexagon dies, but the punches will go a lot faster. So I've picked out some papers. Let's see. I think these will all be really pretty. Like that. That one. Already did that. Oh, let's see. There's this one. Already have that. Already have that. So you get three of each pattern in these six by nine packs. Okay, I don't have that. I do have both of those. Okay. okay, and then there's also the plaid. The back side is that. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different patterns. I don't know if I need that many patterns for this. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I don't have a stencil. I have a stencil, but it's not this size. I might check it out. But anyway, this isn't going to be um, where I'm going to do a voiceover today because I'm kind of crunched for time. So I will come back and show you my progress. I also don't know if I'm doing this. I might. I have some strips. Well, these, those are, let's see, like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do strips or not. We will see. It's just going to see how, see how it morphs. And then um, for the clusters, I do have a bunch of die cuts and embellishments. And I also have some titles here and let's see which one might work. We've got Fall Fun, Pumpkin Spice Season, and Hello Fall. So out of these three, I don't think, I don't know if the deer is having fun or not. He's not having pumpkin spice, so I think Hello Fall would be nice. So that would mean I would definitely want to use some of this color in my papers. So I'm just gonna start punching and see where it ends up and I will come back. Okay, welcome back to my little mess. Um, so I have punched out a bunch of hexagons, kinda trying to lay them around out. I put some of these circles on them, just trying them out. Um, I don't think I'm going to have room for any of this torn edge over on the left. And I think my title is going to be Hello Fall Cutie. And I can't decide whether to put this up here, but I don't like the way you can see underneath. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I could put it down here. I have some die cuts here that come with this collection. I also have stamps, but today I'm trying not to use the stamps. I am trying to just use die cuts. I also have more um, leaves and such. And then I also have some smaller titles falling for you fall, fall vibes, um, I don't want to do pumpkin patch, grateful, thankful, I think I'm going to stick with hello fall, although this would be smaller, wouldn't it? So let me tell you where I was going, I was thinking hello fall, and then I could put cutie, and I could spill it out with either these, um, are they on this back side? Yes, they're called Twinkling Stars. Or I could use um, Melody Stories and I could use as an outline or I could use just the inside. So let me make a few more decisions and I'll be back. Okay, hi, I'm back. I went ahead and finished the layout. I started feeling a little not good standing here, and um, so I had to go lie down for a little bit, and when I came back, I just wanted to finish it. So, um, what did I do? I went ahead and laid all these down. They're not exactly how this is. I kind of made it more like this. And then I decided the title would be Hello Fall Friend. And I cut friend out with these. And I love these. They're called Melody Stories. And um, let's see. 
all of these die cuts are all pre-made. I didn't stamp anything today. I did take an old brown um, journaling pen I've had for years. And I just journaled a doe in my mom's front yard looking right at us the day before Thanksgiving as if to say, here I am, I came hungry. But that was kind of cute because she does look like she's just looking right at us. And I got such a good photo of her. We live out on a ranch out in the country. So um, we get a lot of deer. Um, I use some enamel dots, the mango ones from Keep It Simple, and then just some from my stash. I used three that matched, and they're the last of them, and I'm really glad to use some of my stash up. So, let's see, I also used the tag dye here. I will link everything down below, but please be sure. I'll also link everybody else down below. I can't remember if it's a playlist or if we post everybody's individual links. I am new to this hop and last month I actually did not play along. And then the month before I did and I forgot to use the sketch. So I'm excited to see everyone else's sketch, uh, take on this wonderful sketch that Brandy Joe created. And I hope that you will use the sketch too and create something fun. All right, I'll have um, some photos at the end. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.